Vi sitter här i väntan och spelar lite Dota I hear you man Vi sitter här i väntan och spelar lite Dota I feel you man Vi sitter här i väntan och spelar lite Dota Och pushar på oss mycket men motståndet vi leker Vi sitter här i väntan och spelar lite Dota Och springer runt och kryper Welcome to my review of Assassin's Creed. So let's get right into it, shall we? I thought the audio in this game was quite unique. Not because of the music, but because of the fact that the NPCs throughout the city will give responses to what you do. Say if you walk, climb a building or walk up a wall, they will give responses to what you're doing. Or even if you kill a guard or a civilian, they'll all give their unique responses. The voices in this game are pretty good, and they all fit their characters. They sound great, and there's no problems with them. As for the music in this game, there's nothing all too interesting about it. It's the same old cliche, walking through the city, the music's very calm, the guards begin to chase you, it begins to pick up again. Overall, for the audio, I thought that it was quite unique that while you're running throughout the city and doing different things, that all the NPCs will respond to what you're doing. And also, the voices of the main characters just bring the game more to life. Like I said, the music in this game, very cliche. We've seen it before, but hey, it works. Wow. The graphics in this game are just amazing. I never found anything wrong with them. I mean, the game is just generally beautiful to look at. I mean, even from the trailer that you're watching right now, it's just a spectacular display of graphical genius. It's a wonderful looking game, and there's nothing really wrong with it, graphical wise, that is. I first off gotta say, I really had no problem with the controls throughout this game. At first, they are a bit tricky, but you eventually do get used to them, and they become natural to you. The only problem I ever had with the controls was... Sometimes during combat, when I tried to counter certain moves, it just refused to counter. No matter how many times I hit the X button, it just refused to counter. Other than that, the controls were great in this game. Let's start off by saying I will not spoil anything in this review, so you don't need to worry or pause the video. But I will say if you like anything set in the medieval times, and you like the movie The Matrix, and you're willing to try something that isn't a shooter, this is the game for you. I found the plot to be very interesting, and I can't wait for the sequels. But a lot of people think different. There's a lot of speculation going on right now that the plot is one of the game breakers, which isn't true. But if you like an interesting plot, and you're willing to wait for a sequel for the story to continue, this is definitely the game for you. 
gotta say, this is one subject I did not want to touch on, but I have to. The AI in this game, respectively saying, is horrible. I mean, yeah, the, it has its good points, but for the most part, it's it just dumb. I mean, it would really, you'd really have to play the game to see that, but let me explain. The perfect example of this is when you're in combat. Let's say you have five guards attacking you. They will attack you one by one while they watch their comrades die. That is not a joke either. And it's horrible that they made the AI this way. And it really would break the game if it weren't for all these other good points of the game. Another example is if you go on a crowd of people and you assassinate someone, citizen, guard, or thug, and a guard sees, he comes over there and asks, who did this, highly on the alert, and you use the blend ability, which is basically holding down the A button, and you blend to look like a monk, which is supposed to disguise you, but it does more than that. It makes you invisible. They will not see who killed that person, which I find that amazing, because you're the only other person in the city, or at least in that area, with weapons, other than the guards. As I have said before, this would definitely be a game breaker if it wasn't for the fact that this game had so many good points to it, other than the AI. Okay, let's take a recap of what we already looked at. I give audio 9.7 out of 10. The reason I gave it a 9.7 because I found it very unique that all the NPCs in the city have responses as to what you do and they also talk and converse with each other which I found very unique Eek. and even sometimes I forget that I'm playing Assassin's Creed and it seems to me that I'm playing Grand Theft Auto <laughs> I give graphics a 10 out of a 10 now there's not much to say with graphics except the game was beautiful it was just wonderful to look at it wasn't appalling in any way it, there was no time in the game where I wanted to turn my face away from the TV it was beautiful every single second I was playing it. I give controls 9.5 out of 10. Due to the fact that in the beginning you can't just pick them up right away. You sort of got to get used to them. And also due to the fact that when in combat you can't just immediately counter on some attacks. No matter how many times you hit that X button, it just won't counter. Which annoyed me quite a bit. I give the plot to Assassin's Creed a perfect 10 out of 10. And... I have to say, the plot was interesting. It had me hooked from start to finish. There was no point in the plot where it seemed like it started to drag or get boring. So, if you're looking for a game with an interesting storyline and plot, and also a game that you can wait for a sequel, definitely pick this one up, because this is the game for you. As much as I hate to do this, I have to. I give the AI a 5 out of 10. Now, the reason for that being is that because the AI is horrible in this game, due to the fact that when in combat, the AI is just horrible, and also due to the fact that if you kill somebody in, in the public area and a guard sees you, and you use the ability to blend, it's supposed to disguise you, not turn you invisible. Overall, I give Assassin's Creed a 9.8 out of 10. I definitely like this game. I had fun with it from start to finish. There was not a point where I wanted to just put down the controller and call it quits. If you're looking for a game that stands out from the crowd, because nowadays most games are RPGs or shooters, this is the one for you, definitely. It stood out from the crowd. It had an awesome plot line. It looked amazing. It sounded amazing. Definitely pick Assassin's Creed up. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this review of Assassin's Creed, because I know I did, so definitely pick this game up. It's game Junkie Super Nintendo Kid, signing out. These creatures cling to the shadows. Trained from birth to master the art of death. The streets run red with the blood of his victims. The brothers hunted their prey without rest. You don't frighten me! Show yourself! Delivered the killing blow without mercy. And escaped to fight another day. He's over there! Don't let him get away! Get him. For they were the assassins. And that was their creed.
November 14th. Master the art of the kills.